Okay, guys. The federal government of Nigeria, under the leadership of Bola Tinubu, has recently unveiled its intention to discontinue subsidizing electricity. This announcement was made by the Minister of Power, Adeboye Ade Labu, during a press briefing held in Abuja on February 14. Adelabu emphasized that Nigerians' ongoing subsidization of electricity cannot be sustained, stressing the necessity to transmission towards a more economically viable tariff structure. He pointed out that the nation is currently grappling with significant debt, owing approximately 1.3 trillion naira to generating companies and uh, $1.3 billion to gas, to, to gas suppliers. Furthermore, Adelabu disclosed that despite a budget allocation of $450 billion naira for subsidizes this year, the ministry requires over $2 trillion naira to effectively subsidize electricity in in light of the financial strain that uh, financial strain state government will now be permitted to independently generate power to cater to their respective uh, regions addressing the reoccurring grip collapses Adelabu attributed this incident to various factors including gas shortages, aging grid infrastructure, inf in insufficient capacity for power evacuation and uh, damage to power stations in the northeast geopolitical zone. He highlighted the plight of the transmission company of Nigeria, which faces numerous abandoned projects due to fluctuating contact uh, contract figures influenced by currency exchange rates. Consequently, the company has decided to defer awarding any new contract until existing projects are finalized. In a bid to enhance power accessibility, the minister disclosed that a substantial allocation of over 50 billion naira has been designated in the 2024 budget for constructing uh, mini uh, grips to service remote areas. Adelabu also issued a stem warning to electricity distribution companies, uh, cautioning that any negligence on their part will result in the revocation of their operating license. Furthermore, he expressed concerns regarding the security of power infrastructure and reviewed his collaboration with the National Security Advisor, Ribado, to bluster security measures in this regard. In summary, the federal government of Nigeria's decision to cease its, uh, electricity subsidies reflects a strategic shift towards a more financially sustainable energy sector. However, challenges persist, necessitating col collaborative efforts between the government agencies and stakeholders to address issues ranging from debt management to infrastructure, maintenance and security enhancement. Now, Nigerians are left, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Come to think of it, this very one, Tev, eh? This very one. They don't even give out. They don't even give out light. This light, Nigerians are not seeing it. Anyway, make we jump. Enter another news. In response to the alarming rise in the cost of food items in Nigeria, President Bola Tinubu has taken decisive action by ordering key security agencies to collaborate with state government in a bid to tackle the issue of. Ordering the National Security Advisor, Ribadu, the Inspector General of Police, 
Ekayode and the Director General of the Department of State Service, DSS, Yusif Buchi, have been taxed with the critical mission. The directive comes at a crucial time when Nigeria as a nation grapples with a, a multitude of challenges, including removal of fuel subsidies and heightened insecurity, all of which have contributed to the, the soaring prices of essential food items. The meeting between President Tinubu and the state governors underscores the urgency of the situation with a, a collective determination to ensure that food reaches the table of Nigerians across the country. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, reiterated the gravity of the situation, highlighting the need for immediate action to alleviate the plight of ordinary citizens. At this point, the nation requires food to be brought out to the people so that we can control uh, prices and put food on the table of many uh, of most Nigerians, he emphasized. The decision to crack down on food hoarding is accompanied by additional measures aimed of, at addressing the root causes of the crisis. President Tinubu had previously ordered the release of grains to ease the burden of rising food uh, prices with discussion of potential food Im imports the supplement domestic production however the minister idris clarified that the focus will now be on maximizing nigerians agricultural potential emphasizing the country's capacity to become a nice exporter of food items so guys what's your take let's hear from you Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.